man. All right, we got him. We like to apologize. For what? To absolutely no one. <laughs> <laughs> the two-time champ does absolutely <laughs> fucking no one. <laughs> Let's go. Main Chaff Podcast episode. What is this now? 235. 235. Um, what time to be alive? The real is back. The real is back. Two them. I am him. Him and neutral in the flesh. Have to tell you guys every week, but I'm going to do it. Uh, DK dancing. We'll watch your back. Uh, best member of the DSS. I'm going to pass it to my partner. Colson Nusi. Don Codone in the building. The one and only. AKA L. O. Coolins. AKA C Note. AKA Hollywood Cole. Coming for your left there, your right ear, surround sound, smart speakers, portable speakers, you name it, we are there. Episode 235. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. It's Eman G45, the G sold in my name. Four five is silent. Man, man really made it silent. <laughs> <laughs> the blonde tundra, don't even ask me how. <laughs> Uh, Genghis Chibogwe, Tinfoa Haims, the oh, Prince of the East. Yes, sir. Black Mamba Dove. <laughs> GAM. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's uh, going on? Sorry, I don't have my SD card. My apologies. There is no visuals for this week. Dang. However, you can still listen to us on all streaming platforms and. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's shooting at that bitch. That's crazy. Um, if you could have starred in any movie, what would it be? Probably be this one. Probably be this one. Yeah. For the things. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, yeah. Yeah. If I could start in any movie. Get me in like Mac immediately. No. I thought he was the luckiest boy in the world when I was little. I said, huh? The shoe did that for him. <laughs> His life changed. He was playing for the LA Knights. It's not even a real team. He was so good, they had to make one for him. Brother, you're dying. You look, look. We all saw this. He died. That car's on fire. My God. Yeah, so the Fast and Furious, man, them. The fact that they brought... Have you guys seen who they brought back in the most recent one? They no. brought back home, didn't it? In the, like, the most recent Oh, recent Gal Gadot. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they just know now. They're just having fun with it. I think they should just admit that they have superpowers. Because I'd rock with that more. You know what? I think the whole premise was they wanted to turn it into more of a spy thriller type of vibe, but they had already established so much of a, a universe, listen, so to listen. speak, Did that you... they couldn't really redo it. Because after five, like five was a heist movie, mm. but from six to nine, it's just they, they just be, all become superheroes. But that's what I think if they just admitted that, because do you know when he saves Lay? And they land on the window, the window sill together. They the window sill. They land on the car bonnet together. They should be dead. Come on, man. They, should they shouldn't survive that. Hey, listen. <laughs> the last film pissed me the fuck off. You know where he? <laughs> which bit? <laughs> All of it. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm honest. laughs> I tried which bit. This... But do you know where they're going down a cliff? Um, I can't explain it. In the they, yeah, they have to go down a cliff, and there's a bomb behind in them. The, isn't the Italian? The whole thing in Italy, yeah. dumb as fuck. Yeah. Unless you got super sentry powers, I don't know how you managed to get by that. That was insane. Oh my god, them Fast and Furious films are ridiculous. Imagine it's your first day on the job, and you think, "Ah, oh, sick! I'm joining this team. You know, I'm a really good driver. This is what." The LinkedIn said you just need to be a good driver. Cool. My man starts talking about. So, the way this is going to work is I'm going to jump from the Burj Khalifa into your building and you're going to catch me. Huh? I'm just here to drive. It doesn't make any logical sense. How did they survive that? And then they were all smiling in that. Like, oh man, we got away with that one. This isn't Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is that Tyrese is just getting checks. That's it, man. Be curious to know how much he's making from those movies. Same Enough. Well, you know what he told told you about Ludacris. Mm. It was even supposed to be him, <laughs> and he said no, thank yeah, you. Yeah, but I don't think Tyrese did it because Tyrese is somewhat always stood on principle. And Tyrese is an actor as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit different. So I hear it, but Luda's whole life changed in two thousand and two when he joined mm -hmm. that cast. Because that them shits is insane. In the first, in Too Fast, Too Furious, the film that Luda stars in, he is not this tech genius. 
I'm telling you. Mechanic. I'm telling you. I, when they got to five and four, you know what? They're, they're going to bring everybody people. together, but we're just going to flip. We're just going to freak it. It might as well be its own series from five <laughs> onwards. I couldn't series. believe it. The diver. Because like, do you know what? <laughs> four is a good film. It's a good film and it, it doesn't have any. It's not as silly. It, do, it actually takes itself quite seriously. Mm. But that's what the films, when they started the franchise, it was supposed to be taken seriously. I'm not saying these men were trying to win Oscars, but it wasn't supposed to be this bombastic, ridiculous film franchise that we see before us now, which had its entertaining moments. But I think they've just gone so silly. They've lost the pot. They had my girl looking like Jaden Sancho. Well, you know what? What so film I would, I would, I would be? <laughs> Nathaniel. I would, I would want to be, uh, I would want to be X Men. You want to be in the X Men films? Yeah. Who would you want to be? Uh, Wolverine with my memories. The black one, the black Wolverine. There's a black Wolverine. I'm saying I would want. Oh be black yeah, Wolverine. I hear it. Where you spend it? I know they killed you in 2001. <laughs> yeah. Man. What you mean, Wolverine is black? <laughs> this is America. This is America. For real. If I can be that out like Mike for sure, get me in the Harry Potter films. E- Expelliarmus and that. Nah, it's demonic, bro. <laughs> Why is it demonic? Nah, it's my demonic, bro. The boys come to die. <laughs> <laughs> the boy who lives <laughs> comes to, to die. die. Yo, Voldemort is a, is a, is a neek, bro. <laughs> for real. Even the last scene. You're beefing teenagers and gents. I'm really glad I watched them all back because, like, I was never really into it when it came out and I'm still not into it now. I just wanted to remind myself what happened and also if it was actually worth the hype. And I understand why people liked it as much as it was and I don't know why it was that popular. Mm. But there were a few things where I was watching it back like, they really got this ish off. Um, but they were, be- it's, it's Goblet of Fire and Prisoner of Basketball are genuinely amazing films. Feel how you want about the other the others um i thought the ending of, of order of phoenix was litty what the one where they're in when Voldemort comes out and just <laughs> i said rah so he, this the whole time man's been in the shadows not seen he it's, crashed it's it on him it's him <laughs> dumbledore as well yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. all hearsay so by this point it's like all right look i'm just waiting for my man to come out bro he crashed it i on didn't Harry know he was him <laughs> he I, sorry. I do respect your game boldy Bro, they went, they went. Like, they were going machine for machine. Yeah, that was, that was. Because they good. really brought, brought it out. That's crazy. And I, I remember not liking the fifth one when I was growing up for some reason. I thought it was boring. But then watching it back, maybe because the ending was so strong. That I didn't realise how, oh man, how good a setup it was. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to be in them personally. I think it just, it's just missing a, a bit of je ne sais quoi, a bit of spice. Like, bro, did you put your name in a goblet of fire? <laughs> Come on, man. You're not supposed to do them things. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> HP, no source. That's crazy. Zero source. Listen, I could have talked to him, tell him how to speak to Cho Chan. <laughs> she was crazy for the racism, by the way. <laughs> now, she, I know she's a, a controversial figure now, but the racism she was getting off, that wasn't even 2000s racism. That was just like... Borderline 80s racism, if you know what I mean. Mm. Like, uh, name of the Chinese character, Cho Chan. <laughs> you Shit. there, you mud blood. <laughs> yeah. He was getting the, the hard M off. That's definitely the N word. For real. <laughs> that's definitely the N word. filthy mud blood. I think it's real chill. <laughs> I'm not saying it with chest. For know. real. Imagine uh, being in, like, Avatar. Like, imagine being one of those blue... Those blue them men are blue. Them, them nine foot blue dons. I gotta try. You gotta see what was it? Well, because <laughs> listen, he was human, and he fell in love with an alien. I've got to, I've got to see it. Like if she can make you fold that much, I've got to. It must be life changing. Has to be. The key got to be different. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Yeah, but I don't get the concept of just having an orgasm when the hair touch. Your ponytail's touching and all of a sudden it's done. <laughs> it might be more euphoric. Nah. I don't know how it works on... Just, what's the planet? Navari? Natari? Pandora. 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 <laughs> Pandora no box. Nah, it's, it's Namek. I said Namek. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to see it. Nine foot. You know what I would actually want to be? I would actually want to be in Star Wars, you know? 
I, I, I think the off. principle of Star Wars was cold, but the execution was just oh, lousy. In the like, imagine having a lightsaber and be able to like, move things with your hands and force. Yeah, like, that's that's so mean, cold. They were them. I'll be slapping people up. Oh, listen, I'm on the I'm a Sith baby. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm with the dark side. Like, we tra- that, we that, that my skin into. tone. I'm with it. I'm with it. When they get the cool stuff off, they get oh, it off. When, when it's off, Do, there's a scene mm. in. Oh, the it, Force Awakens, yeah. where they're in, and it's snowing, and it's uh, Kylo yeah. Ren versus Finn. Uh, oh. Cinematography is out of here. Oh. The only light in that whole scene mm-hmm. is the lightsaber. Mm. It's oh. shit's beautiful. But then they do dumb shit. I don't think, listen, I'm, they Mary sued Ray, who I actually think was a good character, but she should never have been the, the Jedi for that series. I think it should have been Finn. Mm. neither here nor there but I completely agree with what you have to say when that series is on it's mm. on that man fighting in Revenge of the Sith over the lava oh yeah I was going to say that that's some iconic stuff that's cold and I didn't even realise until I watched it them all mm. and I realised oh right like, everyone's getting onto this movie but the way they, they got flipped some ideas on. Anakin was cold yeah, yeah yeah like the fact that they had my man in the room with all the kids and then you, you, sure. knew, you knew you knew what sure. he was yeah, on yeah, yeah. Yeah. you knew what he was on <laughs> like that's that's mad oh, we had I remember zoom. that scene yo that's so crazy he just he just brought up all the, all the kids Nah. No hesitation as Anakin well. was, they made him a bad he was, he was. He was on, he was a terrible person. He was not good. Unforgivable in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. All for the key. Listen. <laughs> Isn't it always? So, she even told him, you need to chill. He wasn't He said, hearing listen, it. oh, come on. He wasn't here. Nah, he was not. The writing was diabolical and I was able to see past it. Which Star Wars has that crazy scene with Darth Vader? Is it Rogue One? Oh, where he's escaped where they're trying to they're trying to escape from yeah, him, yeah. and he's just boring yeah, everybody yeah. incredible that, do you know what that's the best lightsaber scene that's ever been done I think I'm really? A, w- 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 hands down w- w- what about the one where where they see the uh, where, where they're in the room and then there's the, the there's the red warriors I thought that that's scene was, I actually no. thought that scene was cold you know? cold nah it's arse like, it's a rubbish if you, film if you watch it if you watch that watch back, back oh it's so it bad did you know what? I thought the same thing first time I saw really? it in the yeah. cinema beautiful yeah, yeah it looks good, good. Maybe looks I, need, good. I need to watch it back maybe but I need to watch it back my issue with it is I don't like that style of fighting and it's my biggest issue with the Dark Knight it's that I'm going to punch you and there's five of you man and then they're waiting oh, it doesn't it's look as choreographed yeah. fighting got you got you got but you, got you. I, I hear it they got that sh- and what's it my man Snoke Mm. when he mm. was just chilling and then all of you all you heard was his speech just stopped yeah yeah, yeah. and then his body collapsed got yammed bro crazy incredible stuff what they were trying to get off i respect it man they really did try it. the disney ones anyway but yeah some of those those three from the 90s uh i don't know what you call it the prequels no not the prequel well, oh the actual the se- the sequels yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Them shits, they were doing... Ah, oh, they were talking nonsense. The one with um, Samuel L. Jackson and that. The Clone Wars and all... I was like, yo... He had a purple saber. Right. Bit fruity, if you ask me, man. I'm not, it I'm worked not, for him, though. I'm not... Is he, is he, is he, is he Prince? Yeah. <laughs> Game blouses. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. oh, is there any other... F- See, I don't want to be... I don't know where I'd fit in Marvel... Despite you know how what? Much I, 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 I recently watched um, the Wonder Woman eighty four, and quite literally, that film needed to be directed by Zack Snyder because I think the whole. I don't know. No, 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 no. It shouldn't I, have been directed. It shouldn't have been. It <laughs> should never no, existed. Honestly, I think that film could have been great if it was just dark. Like there was no. The sex- film was dark already. She sexually assaulted someone. When? Because. They've taken my man's body. It's she can see um Chris Pine's character. Yeah. But the whole world sees another person. So they've just taken over this guy's body oh, unwillingly. Right. It's mad. No, I, I I think there were certain elements that he needs to remove. However, they man. made it dark. But how do you make that dark? 
If they made a dark film, I promise you that film would be top no, 10. Top I, 10. Because I quite like the villain and I like the plot in the sense of be careful what you wish for, which is already a very dark sort of idea, really. Because nah, the way it, they played it. Take 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 away all the the satirical parts, the jokes, the red hair, hair, like take it all away and just make it a dark film, like Man of Steel. How it wasn't, it w- there wasn't no jokey jokey, no mm. nothing. It was just Man of Steel, ten out of ten, boy. Great film, yeah. Honestly, uh, what was I gonna say? I'd even want to be in that. Don't know what part I'm playing, but that is a cold film. People have issues with the destruction he causes in Metropolis suck a dick I'm still really sad about how Batman vs Superman like, destroyed out. yeah because I just think one of the best things from that DCU was just seeing Batman watching their man do the madness and he's just thinking we're fucked we can't like, run we can't like, run Superman, <laughs> Superman has brought all this madness here I need to get rid of him like, and that that's is a such a idea. great yeah. idea but the execution was lacking because He's that is a brilliant, that, that would, because if I have the resources to get rid of him, I'm getting him gone. Yeah. 100%. He had the kryptonite ready to go. It would have been cold. And obviously hindsight's incredible. Hindsight's one thing, right? It would have been incredible for them to actually do a proper Batfleck movie and then end it with that scene. Yeah. Because then it's like, all right, we know who Bat, we know who Batfleck is. We've given him the ability to just build his own kind of Batman mm. situation. And then tight, kind of the way the you know the MCU did the you know force hammer at the end of flipping. They just didn't have the patience. Know, it's such a shame because they, they, really they if her. they'd been patient, I think they could have caught. This is all with the value, the power of hindsight. Because I think, my if you want to compare it, you have to look at that um, phase one. Let's say Man of Steel is their phase one film. That to me is just as good as Iron Man one. Man of Steel. Mm, yeah, mm, what if you? I don't think so, but I think I'm comparing Man of Steel to another MCU Phase One film. I think Iron Man is just a classic, but I, I hear yeah. it. But I I I'm saying it's just as good. Like it's for me, it's I got probably about the same level of, en- of enjoyment from those two films. I don't think, for me no, but I'm biased. But I, 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 I yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm, I'm, what you're saying isn't like a reach because uh, uh, Man of Steel is a great film. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Knock it. I just think what Tony, I just think what Robert Downey Jr. brought to that role and Congrats the excitement him. behind it was just you know. Get me an Oppenheimer, baby. Else. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna make this machine. It's gonna go boom. You ready? <laughs> I'm just happy for uh, uh, what's his name? Cillian so, uh, Murphy. Murphy. He's such a mm. great guy. Great actor. Deserves it. Oh, 100 percent. It wasn't um all of the wins that now were interesting. Oh, for the Oscars. I yeah. didn't even see it. I don't know what happened. Nah, there's not much to really know what happened, but it was I can't believe that is Christopher Nolan's first win for best I movie. can for best movie though. Mm. Well when the movies is put no, out. I hear it. When Dark Knight came out, there was only five films that could be nominated. Because of the mistake and the backlash from the Dark Knight, they widened it to ten. And then after the Dark Knight, Come what on, are you going to give it to? Actually, Inception. I don't even know Inception. Inception was voted or nominated for best movie. But it you know what? Been. You have to it always look at the categories so many. before that year and like what they were yeah, going up really against. Like that. I think it's a great film. It's I not my. It's not know. my. It's not my I, I think that last twenty minutes is some of the dumbest in film history. Be real. BG real. I need to watch it back. No, nah, come on! He's in that, and then he's banging on the. I just, like, I just think it's iconic. Bro. <laughs> man saw it. Man watched it back, and he was fuming. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I feel it because it. You could apply it to everything. That one scene, you just know, like, oh, if yeah, I was, we if will I go back in time and stop that. I want to stop myself <laughs> from doing that. Like, ah, I and there's nothing man can do. Like, I just thought I need to watch it back. Maybe, maybe I, I need, need yeah. It. Do you know what? We have to do this like watch along thing that we've all been we've been saying we'll do. And I think there's so many films that our perspective on will be interesting to see, and I would be interested. Oh, oh, I'll oh, be man. interested to see what we think about Interstellar going back because I, I just keep thinking back and I just think that last twenty minutes really lets the film down. For me, because it's just not possible, and everything had made sense up to that point. How the fuck is he now with his child? Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. He has to be, and he's imagining it. He's dead. However, he he did communicate with his daughter. However, he's dead. So, what do you think that? Ended? Because I think 
there is one part in the film is like when you die, you see your children. Mm. Yeah, I gotta watch it back. Still. Yeah, no, it has to be watched back. But yeah, what was it? Oh. Yeah, was, I mean, Inception put me in that shit. Nah, I wouldn't want to be in there. Nah, I can't. Dream with a dream. Nah, I'm just get it. You're just gonna get it. Crashed <laughs> <in it. Imagine. laughs> you know, do you know what I knew? Oh, this is a film. When the train, this is why they just let Nolan do whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> a train went through the real city. <laughs> a train. <laughs> nah, you're lying, bro. Listen, he's getting this shit off, man. When you put a plane through a building. And they let him do that. He can't direct a horror film. The person was right. Who will summon real demons. Yeah, you don't want to be messing with any of No, no, I don't need it. Nah, they would have given him a real bomb if they could. There is a history of apparently the Gra- uh, Grammys. Oscar's not giving best movie to a lot of like legendary directors. Yeah. Like Scorsese I hadn't won one for like, I, don't, I think he only won it recently. Maybe, Maybe The Departed. Like, hasn't. And like, I don't know if that's others, a Scorsese film. Like just bear, bear like, you know, big time. Yeah, I don't, I think, Maybe Alfred like, Hitch, oh, I don't want to say, but they might have given him a Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm. But I think Alfred Hitchcock, who is arguably one of the greatest directors of all time, he, I don't think he has an Oscar, which is insane to say. I could be wrong. Um, someone help me fact check that. But yeah, that, that in of itself is crazy. Um, and you're right, there's a lot of actors who don't have Oscars and who you'd think, wow, they put in some great performances. Mm. And probably in the year that they gave that performance, you'd think that would have been their year. Like, Robert was acting his ass off through the MCU. Let's, let's, let's call a spade They're a never going to give it to him. I know they weren't for, because, mm. you know, the like, politics and everything behind what the MCU stands for. But let's call a spade a spade. Him being... He's basically Tony Stark. I think if he'd got it for anything, he should have got it for Endgame. I, I, I thought he at least had a chance to be nominated because I think that performance was, and it was, it, and then the Oscars is quite sentimental and stuff like that. Like, for me, that was a chance to round off what had been incredible because you're never going to give no, the I film th- the credit. I think it was a wonderful performance in that, in, in the last, in the last scenes of Robert Downey Jr. Yes, but I don't think he deserves an Oscar for but, the whole film. What I'm saying is it's more, an achievement award because sometimes like, they do that like mm. Modric got is a Ballon d'Or winner that was given to him more for everything he'd achieved in his career it wasn't necessarily mm. what he'd done that year mm. this mixy um, mixi <laughs> mixi um, it wasn't for it was for everything he'd achieved and Robert Downey Jr has had an incredible career and people forget my man was wilding in the 90s he yeah. was off a bean he wasn't on drugs the drugs was on him <laughs> So to transform yourself as as well in that way, I think it would have been interesting to have seen it for his last work, which mm. was the MCU. There's no way around it. No, interesting he, that he ended up getting it for Oppenheimer. Yeah, no. yeah which he was the player's player. Yeah, no, but he was <laughs> hating. <laughs> he was but hating. the thing is, one like thing you have to remember as well is the fact that nobody really saw Tony Stark in Oppenheimer. They saw. Yeah, hundred percent. They yeah, saw Andrew somebody Strauss. completely different. Like to you, you even he said yourself, that role. they hated him. <laughs> so then, like to play a, such a role like that to transform as an actor, like yeah, this is. I think he needed to do that as well because it was a real departure from what he'd played before, mm. and it was nice to see. I couldn't believe the shit he was getting off in that film. He hated Oppenheimer. <laughs> that nah, he he was doing anything to get him out of here. Oh God. Who voted against me? Um, a little <laughs> senator from Massachusetts. His name's John. Uh, John F. Kennedy. <laughs> I hate that so much. I hate that so much. He was plotting. I, I, I hate that so much. If that came out in 2007, it would have hit. I started it again. Get me in them Transformers <laughs> films. Please, the Bumblebee, the Michael B, the Michael Bay ones. Please, screwing my ass off. Listen, me, me and Mega Fox talking in the corner, <laughs> trying to have a conversation. Here, let me chat to you right quick. They would have had to pull me <laughs> to the room. Stinks. You're insane. <laughs> this is 2008. You're insane. Come on, I don't know. Now nah, you got to put me in Wolf of Wall Street, and you know Ooh, why. Doggy. 
<laughs> you know why? <laughs> the guy, people don't peep. Oh, her girl was Mbappe at nineteen. She was twenty two when that came out. Listen, if I speak, uh, thing, uh, home girl. Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie the, the greatest. If I speak, maybe the, I'll be in big trouble. The greatest they've ever released. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Will Smith was right. <laughs> Will Smith Get was right. Get me in for Wall Street immediately. <laughs> they were wilding. What an incredible film! I love that film so oh, much. Man. Every time I watch it, I just I, enjoy it more. More, I, it's it's, uh, yeah. Just it is. You feel like you're part of it as well. That's the thing. Mm. And it's very difficult for films to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Because oh, you're, you're always watching... You're watching what's on display. Mm. So you're not really there. You're just watching. Whereas Wolf of Wall Street, you're in the office. You're in the parties. You're you're there taking drugs. Yeah. <laughs> you're there taking for real. <laughs> so... For real. Of course, movies are just like that, though. Mm. Like, it's very... They're very, like, fast-paced. He's never, missed a bit recently, though. Uh, which ones? Which I did ones? not like that one, that, that three hour one that they put on Netflix a few years like ago. The Irishman. Yeah, I with all the that. oldies, don't. I haven't seen that. And I have yet to see watch that. his most recent film. Again, that was three and a half hours. That was criminal. Is this of a flower? Psh, Psh, there's no need for a film to be three hours. There's nothing to say in that amount of time. I'm hearing Dune's two hours 57. That, apparently, apparently, that movie is incredible. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Everybody's I'm saying it's incredible. I'm seeing it Saturday. Well, which one? The is first it? one Dude, or the second, the second one? First one is a snooze fest. Everyone's saying it's incredible. And I, it's getting my nerves because now I have to watch the first one. First one is a snooze fest. I need an, snooze I need an the first one might actually cinema. be one of the most boring films I've ever watched. It's just, it's people talking in grey rooms. Toby went to lying. It look, if you've ever seen Kanye <laughs> and Kim's house, that's what this, the set for Dune 1 looks like. That's crazy. Timothy Chalamet, oh. Charlemagne's just getting shit off. Chalamet. Go, 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 go. <laughs> 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 that's so you dude like <laughs> you dude like go. <laughs> Fuck Drake. Fuck you know that's Adidas. number two in the charts. It's number one. It went number one. It went number one. It went number yeah, one. It's number one. It went number one. Oh my god! Independent. <laughs> Do you he is him. In the we trenches. can't stop him. Yeah. I but told we, you. But we said this. Though. I told you. We said. We said this was going to happen. I cannot believe it. In the no, trenches. Number one album and single. In the it's trenches. Insane. Do you know what that man said? And you know what? There's no, no what's even. I don't think we're actually deep in controversy it. Controversy sells, bro. Do you know what he's done? Ask Kanye West. I don't care. This is worse. He than said some of the worst things. This is worse no, than no. Jonathan Majors. But you know what it I is? I can't believe he it. Was, he's, convicted, so he's convicted for accidentally breaking a finger. Yeah. Cool. I have this to man clap. said. He said some foul shit. I can't even rock with the shit he said. No, nah, me neither. But what I will I say. I'm not believe what it. I will say. I'm not, I'm not trying to find an excuse to downplay it. But no. what I will say is that. For him, and you guys can probably attest to this, recently he hasn't put out great music. So for him to put out something that's actually decent and then that can be chart, like he can chart. I can't believe it. I it thought it's not do, actually that surprising. No, I thought they were going to do everything to block it. All the games, because that Texas Hold'em song is awful. It's not a good hey, song, have, but that's that's also another dog. fact of it. If you, if you attack the charts at the best time, where, the, where it's on a low, and let's be honest right now, it is. Like, mm. no one really no one really cares that Beyonce has put out a Texas, a, a, a country so song. Bad. It just so happens that there's nothing else if that album, out right now. She's saying she's dropping another one. If that shit is country, boo! It probably will be. It's called Send it to her face. Uh, country. Uh, like, what what about, yeah, I was, uh, this shit didn't slap. It didn't work. Uh, what do you want me to say? No, that's another thing we need to talk about is height. Height? Height. As in how tall these these celebrities are, bro. I was confused. <laughs> I was perplexed. Like, like who? I saw that picture of Schoolboy Q and Jay Z. I was like, what is that? He's quite short, though. A lot of these people are just large and large characters. That. Most people. I always. It's like Hollywood. You always think they're tall. Mm. You always perceive them to be tall until you see them standing next to somebody tall. You'd be like, what happened? When I saw him live, he was. Tell was like five seven five yeah I say like five seven. Most of Hollywood eight. is short kings. I didn't know that Diddy was five seven. Diddy's not five seven. And he's running around like he's pack. Is he? Lo and behold, they're saying he's five seven. I don't believe that. I can buy it when you see him next to Jay. Oh. What's Jay? Six, what was it? Jay six one. Like six, six one. Yeah. 
I could that's believable. That's very believable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see go, go, you can go, see go. in his stature. And Pusha T Pusha T's five eleven. So it's like, okay, cool. Mm. But brother, the way the way schoolboy Q just shocked me. I was like, what? Are you for real? It's just that short. I think the thing with artists as well is a lot of them are larger than life characters, unless they they look short. Like say for example, Lil Uzi, his frame looks small. If that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but he's always been yeah. But that's understandable. There's people he's that always is, no, but he's always been seen as a small individual. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Lil Wayne is Lil well. Wayne has a Kendrick small, Lamar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's it's obvious. Yeah, Kendrick yeah, yeah. Sure. Whereas, some people you some people carry it well, and you might not be able to tell that. Oh, that's their true. Tom Cruise is like what? Tom Cruise. Is uh, she's five six. I think they make, that, they make him in those movies look like he's, he's a giant. Like six foot. Right? Well, my man, Zac Efron looks tall. I don't think Zac Efron's more than five eight. There you go. Yeah, he's not. He's not on tour Don. A lot he's of these people tour, ain't Don. tall. The guy that was dancing in the desert. I'm not a tour Don. <laughs> and High School Musical too. Hold on, let me not, double check not that. Not uh, sure? So what, Vanessa Hudgens is five two then. <gasps> Guys, pray for your strong friends because Vanessa Hudgens is. She's preg preg. I mean, <laughs> it's a dark five day. eight. Shit, I ain't even joking. It's a dark day. I thought I was reaching. Um, oh, she looks great though. She's carrying that shit. Lo and behold, I fell to my knees in Tesco. Really? Do you rate it like that? Back in the day, I did. When 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 um High, High School, School Musical, Musical came one, out, everyone was like, yeah, right, no, 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 no. High School Musical one, she was really pretty. She was really nice. She looked cute. She looked number cute. two in the swimsuit. Brian, people, lost <laughs> people lost it. People lost it. She is her. And what we're also growing with the film, like yeah, in PB yeah, as well. She was the one. <laughs> she, my <laughs> didn't waste no time because they weren't even get together. This new couple weren't even together that long. Because she was with, funny enough, my latest enemy, Austin Butler. She was with him. Why is he her Ah, oh, This brother's jarring. So you know how he was Elvis? He he learned how oh, to do the accent. Oh, the guy he, don't, he plays Elvis. He learned how to do the okay. accent for Elvis, but he won't drop it. So he's still talking like he that. He still talks like it. <laughs> now he talks with a deeper tone. That's That's it. It. Nah, nah. Yeah. He's got to drop it. That is hilarious. And then on top of that, this tipped me over the edge where he was like, someone asked him, "Oh, what was your favorite film growing up?" My man went on to say, "The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly." I if I, if I even asked my dad what was your favorite film growing up, he's not going to say that. So why are you lying like that? Sounds like he's begging it to be. Oh, I'm good. You mean Dupree? You uh, mean Dupree? <laughs> head of state. <laughs> that film is stupid, That's man. Insane. <laughs> You're real for that. that you mean stu- Dupree? <laughs> that film is stupid. <laughs> head of state is insane. Um, R.I.P. Bernie Mac. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, there, to Bernie Mac. There's a part. It's just one of my favorite monologues ever, where he gets asked as head of um. Had a homeland security. What? How would you operate? And he just the uh, things he gets off in that scene is just incredible. Bernie Mac was him. I can't even do it justice. Nah, nah. Um, yeah, but I was very surprised. But also, we were speaking about um, body standards back in the second, back in the first episode mm. of uh, two, three, four, and Go I on. think it's a really interesting topic because I feel like body standards have changed again. Again, after being well, BBLs are out. Like they're fading away. They had to really. Yeah. That wasn't sustainable. Yeah. But uh, to be fair, like I was, oh, I don't know. I was never really attracted to it, and I t- just because it just looked ridiculous. And this is our opinion, guys. This yeah, yeah. I mean, like, listen. If you, we find people you can tell. You can tell the difference between that and like naturally thick or naturally curvy, which, you know, we applaud, but it just seemed to be getting silly and the the works that people were getting, it just never looked natural. Yeah. That was my issue with it. I've always preferred more petite looking women anyway, but that's just my preference. Nah, I, I, I like the slim tick. I like the slim tick with actual shape. I hear it. You know what I'm saying? You know? I'm just trying to see it from the front. <laughs> I'm trying to see that shit in 3D, you mommy. Mm. I I'm, mean... I'm, I'm trying to be dumbfounded. Dumbfounded sight. is crazy. Dumbfounded. Man's trying to... Sight. What? You need Doja. 
Nah, she shaved the eyebrows. I like eyebrows. New Doja Cat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm she, talking about old school Doja. Doja. Not now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, right. Before right. Gore Hills. Yeah, but she changes shape like every week. <laughs> Does she? Uh, that shit is clapping. No round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it. That's funny. That's but then, um, like Pokemon, bro. Like yeah, Pokemon. No, we're, we're just watching um, Fast and Furious, and pretty much in that film, we well, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, and in that film, we see like a lot of slim women, and but they were just bad looking. Back then. They, they were just looking beautiful, was like as ever, and it was just like today, a lot of women want to get their big back, and so on and so forth, and even go to the extent of getting the lip fillers. And then that's an instant no for me. Really? Yeah. As soon as I clock a hint of lip fillers, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, like, a hint. I'm literally out. Because I know I your lips are going to change shape afterwards. Well, can't say they have to get topped up. I thought it was a for life thing. Nah, God. Nah, man. It's sad. It that yeah. shit up. But I think that's going. I think, I don't know. I feel like you can't, you can't, you can't go away, bro. What? Well, once you got it, you're in it. Yeah, because it's your skin, bro. It's like it stretches. No, I'm sure you can remember. Like it's it's like they extreme it's like extreme weight gain and extreme weight loss. Like you know you they get They can't marks. take it back. They can't take it back. Yeah, but I've, I haven't seen it perfectly done. I, I, oh, okay, but fair yeah, enough. Man. But I know Molly May got all of her fillers removed, for example. Good. Um it's it's people I feel like people are going back to but a more I natural look. I think she's a lot younger. How old is she? She's what, twenty two? She's probably twenty between 22 and 24. Yeah, you're right. She wouldn't be any older than that. Yeah, so like really? for her, got a child I think her body can still function in like and still be able to heal. And snap back. Yeah. No Whereas cat. somebody who's in their 30s trying to do lip fillers is like, brother, sorry. Yeah, hiding her age here. Because by the time you get nine, to 15. Nine, nine. Yeah, by, oh. 25. Yeah, 20, 24. Yeah, 24. 25. She's insane. And she's very young. Yeah, she, she is 24, indeed. Come off herself. Uh, are incredible. Listen, we've all got the same twenty four hours. She won't lie. She <laughs> used them wisely. Um, I guess final topic of the day is: Can you tell us a story that people wouldn't believe unless you told? Like, even if you said it, they're not going to believe you. I've got too many stories, bro. Say a word. Yeah, man, too many stories. Um, this I, is. I on. think one person's actually he still watches or he still listens. But um, I met a multi millionaire on the train. Um. And is when you're gonna get flued up? Yeah. <laughs> I, was to get I promise you. No, because the get thing is, FOs off. <laughs> he was trying to get FOs. He was trying to get FOs, but it was just like FOs is crazy. I chat to him from time to time, but it's just like I was kind of, yo, she's she's top tier, but Who's I was that? I was is very it much from um. She, she power had, nah no nah, power she, no she's from Daredevil. something else Daredevil yes Electra yes yeah oh man Debbie if you find time please watch Daredevil I beg uh, you I'm begging you you have to I'm begging you watch it it's uh, so so good I'll give it a spin it's so good oh another thing you can watch is The Gentleman on Netflix is that do you rate it the first episode just seems outlandish already it's just it's so it it, it takes it, it takes a poke at um what's the word called a aristocracy aristocracy yeah yeah that and just like street life it's a guy Ritchie film so you expect yeah. it i'm really curious to see how guy Ritchie tv show will unfold because i've seen his films movie. were oh snatch is one of the my way films the now. way episode one ends as, as a film, you would you show. would fly off your chair oh, let me out let me let me watch it. how many it's, episodes it's is it I, I have i don't know i'm on episode three at the moment okay like, i'll give it but a back to what i was saying um my man wanted to basically just because he had like a he has he basically came back to the uk to buy houses for his nieces and just enjoy it. and he said you know what manuel listen bro if you're free yeah just come over any gal you like if you huh? want to free bro let's just have fun and i'm like he's in taking more fun this offer nah there's definitely a clause there so that's the story <laughs> that no one would ever believe i don't know if i have one i'll be honest with you when i I'd honestly, clear as day, I'll never forget this. This is one of the weirdest moments in my life. So at nursery, you know how there's like nap time? Um, I, for whatever reason, I couldn't get to sleep. So I had to stay awake for a little bit or I just stayed awake for a little bit. And then this lady had her son there. This is the craziest moment of my life. I shit you not. 
the sun went through the floor. I've looked at the floor. There's nothing. So the <laughs> <laughs> was the floor collapsed? The floor collapsed, but I can't, I'll never be able to explain it. The floor didn't have a hole or anything in it. Almost like he fell through quicksand. And then <laughs> all I saw was my... So he's fallen through to the bottom floor and then he's had to come back up the stairs. So it was like into the oh, basement yeah. and he came back up without a scratch or nothing. Wow. I could not believe it. God did. How old was he? <laughs> he was at twelve or twelve. But the, I could. The only. It was so weird because the did floor you see it drop. Did you the, see him? Drop? Yeah, I saw him drop. He oh, was talking wow. to his mum, and he went, "Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy." And he fell, and I was like, "I've <laughs> always been sure. Am I losing my mind?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wasn't asleep. This definitely happened. I definitely saw that brother fall through the floor and then come back up the stairs crazy shit was insane i couldn't believe it i was uh, i was terrified he tried to chat to me after i was like yo chill i don't know what you got on you (laughs) that's insane oh man i wish i I can't think of i'll be honest i can't think of one but that is wild though Uh, i've got enough one actually i don't don't want to know that's 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 too personal it's just too personal fair enough yeah because some of them might be listening fair enough yeah 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 Um, but it was just the fact that the same act somewhat of the same activity happened to all three of them it's just like rah but yeah that's all i can say shout out to you if you're listening shout out what, what, which what, which one is this this is four um, is, is michelle rodriguez is a lesbian isn't, isn't she in real life i think so yeah, i she mean said, she said that being a woman is worse than slavery <laughs> shout out <laughs> <shouts, laughs> <shouts> to her <laughs> that's an insane thing to say i think does I, she know what slavery was yeah, I, f- I think I, I'd maybe screenshot that's why, it. Maybe that's why they killed her off in this movie. But then brought her back again. Were these two in four? Uh, Them yeah. clowns? Yeah. She looks good in this one, though. What were they trying to get off here? They're trying to rob the Dominicans. Yeah. What's <laughs> new? <laughs> <They're on> the <laughs> <system>. <laughs> Listen, bro. If Arthur the Furious was woke, they knew what the time it was. These man overtaking this tractor. This is in, this film is insane. It's, it's the height of stupidity. I'm gonna pick 100 by the game featuring Drake. Nice mm. old school ballad for you there. Keep it eight to eight more than I two with me one hundred. I'm gonna pick Obsessed by J O. Why are you so? <gasps> it's got P&B last day. Vibes. Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Last day of my life by the original. Okay. The original. Choices UK's finest at the moment is popping, doing grime, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful song, wonderful Lovely song. stuff. All right, lads. What a time! Good, good episode. That was that was hilarious. I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, two, three, five. Enjoy. Bye.